Hello and welcome back to Waltz in Lyrical, a brand new YouTube channel that chats everything Strictly Come Dancing. It was week four and what a quiet week it's been in Strictly. Now week four is the furthest that Diane has made it in the competition so far and I think she needs to get used to it because I can see them going through to the final. This dance was all about Diane for me really. I loved her multicoloured top and her little signal to Jo towards the end to smile. She had a big eh on her face. They're a really lovely couple and I find them so so watchable. Vic and Graziano were next with a quick step to You Can't Hurry Love. Tune! This was a light, quick dance and Vic's natural ability really shone through. Great acting, expressive story and choreography. I think they deserved their 29 points. Danny and Amy did a very, very spinny Viennese waltz. One thing I noticed about Danny was his very beautiful hand placement and his excellent footwork. Danny is 58 years old. I was really surprised when they mentioned that yesterday. I think he's got excellent musicality and I hope that he is put through into next week. Faye and Giovanni did the notoriously difficult rumba. Now sometimes I think rumbas can look a little bit cringy, but I enjoyed this one. When listening to the judges' comments, they didn't seem to like it. I thought I'd watched a different dance, but then their scores, I thought, didn't really reflect their comments. She scored 29, which I think is really good, especially for a rumba. I think she's a fantastic dancer. She always looks incredible. And as I said on my Twitter account, I think she's gonna be in the final. Katie and Gorka did a jive and they scored 18, so they were quite far down the leaderboard. I thought this was her best dance yet and definitely the most expressive that I've seen her. Me and Craig were definitely on different pages last night during the show because he said that this wasn't the dance for her. I completely disagree, I think it's been her best one. She obviously felt a lot more confident this week. There were lots of basic steps, the styling was perfect, and I think the viewers will keep them in. Charles and Karen were next, and oh my goodness, Karen's yellow play suit, hello! Definitely my favourite outfit of the evening. I was super impressed with the routine. I thought Charles did a heck of a lot of solo dancing which I always think is a good sign. Karen must think that Charles is confident and talented enough not to mess it up. The lifts were a little bit messy, but there were a lot of steps in that dance. They were in the bottom two last week and they're hovering around the middle of the leaderboard this week, so they may be in danger. Next up were Lauren and AJ. Now she's fit, isn't she? Even though she seemed to slip up a little bit in her footwork, I did think she was much more confident than she has been, which is a really good sign. I think they may fall into that trap of the middle of the roadie dancers, um, so they could also be in danger this week. Ranj and Jeanette were next with their Paso, and a lot like Jo and Diane, I find this couple so, so watchable. Ranj is an A&E doctor, which is intense enough, but then he has to go and spend a million hours rehearsing for Strictly and filming Strictly. I think this deserves a couple of extra points. I think Ranj always gets into character really well, and this was no exception. That flamenco drama, darling. Kate and Ali Ash danced to one of my favourite songs, Africa by Toto. Da, 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 da. She didn't seem very confident, it wasn't very bouncy, it was a bit of a mess. Um, I think they were a bit disappointed with themselves. I really, really like Kate though, as I've mentioned before, she has absolute hair goals. Hair goals. Hair goals. Graham and Oti did a jive, now they come on in spacesuits, and I was kind of hoping they were going to do the whole routine in those, because they were pretty cool. I did find it hard to keep my eyes off of Oti, to be honest, because she was going for it. Um, but I did spot Graham had some good leg action going on. 
Ashley and Pasha did an intense tango and I must say I didn't really love the styling of this one. Styling aside, I think she really bought the drama and definitely did Pasha's amazing choreography justice. I thought the comments were a little bit picky, but I guess she's very, very talented and has got dance experience, so they really fine tweak anything she does. Now, where do we start with Sean Walsh and Katia Jones? Now, I'm not going to speak too much about what's been happening in the press over the last week. I actually did my very first live interview with Five Live last night after the show. I will put the link in the description below. Um, if you're interested in my views about Sean and Katia and everything that's been going on outside of the show, then have a listen. I've said it before, and I might say it again if they get through to next week, but Katia Jones's choreography is really, really entertaining. I found that dance very enjoyable, but it definitely wasn't perfect. Because the choreography was so full on, I do agree with Bruno that in some places it got slightly manic, so there might have been too much going on for Sean in that dance. I was a little surprised about how much the judges went mad for it, didn't really see much swivel going on. I did have to re-watch it and I found some swivel during the pizza box section but I think the first time I watched it I was a bit distracted by what on earth was going on with the pizza boxes. I didn't really rate the kicks and flicks either but it definitely had the entertainment factor. Last but not least was Stacy and Kevin. Now I'm surprised they finished on this one because I wasn't crazy for it but perhaps I do need to watch it again because the crowd and the judges were mad for it. As my old mate Len Goodman used to say there was a little bit of messing around at the start. That being said it was a really nice routine and it was Kevin's birthday so it was quite fitting that they were top of the leaderboard. It's time for the top three. At number three. At number three is Karen Clifton's Amazing Yellow Play Suit. At number two. My second highlight of the night was the song choices. There were two songs that reminded me of my wedding in last night's show, and that was Africa and You Can't Hurry Love. And at number one. Number one has to be going on BBC Radio 5 Live after the show to chat all things Strictly. Um, that was an opportunity that I couldn't say no to. I was quite nervous beforehand because I've never done live radio before, but I've really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the video this week. If so, please subscribe and click the notification bell. I will see you next week for Halloween week. Ooh.